You know, I think I'm just gonna have this sewn to my head. Boom! You ready? Anything? Big news. What? Whoosh. Seriously? Uh, no pigs yet. What? Uh, what was he doing? Wow. Bring him on. Beautiful. This is gonna be a very short game recap, and then I'm gonna go on to, uh... Other things. Leafs lose 5 nothing to the Edmonton Oilers. But look on the bright side, it could have been 6. Oh wait, it kind of was. It was their 6th time getting shut out this season. In just their 24th game, so let me just, okay, carry the one. Yeah, they've been shut out in a quarter of their game so far. So that means pucks aren't even going in by accident. Leafs wildly outchanced the Oilers early. Wildly outshoot them. Couple soft goals on Gustafson. The players weren't Saints either. The Leafs fall behind and they lose confidence and then they fall further behind and then they get booed off the ice 5 nothing. Let's talk about some positives. Here's my list of least positives. All right, now on to the Edmonton Oilers. So Taylor Hall getting the first multi-goal game of his career. Jordan Eberle also scoring, at a boy Ebbs. And coming back from injury, the Boulin Wall was standing tall. Are we done with this one? Team is missing Fnuff. They're missing Colby Armstrong, but they're getting him back on the weekend. And Mike Brown is also up. Would the team be better with those guys in the lineup? Yes. Is that a good excuse? Eh. Because eh. one thing Leafs fans are bad at, as a matter of fact, any fan in any sport is bad at this. You seem to think that your team is the only one that gets injuries. Other teams get injuries too. Big ones. But they don't get shut out in a quarter of their games. They're on pace to get shut out 20 times. 20 and a half, technically. And you know, I'd, I'd really like to say some good things about that team, but... Yeah. You know, Joe Rogan had a pretty good bit. He wasn't applying it to sports, but it fits pretty well. And that is, if I gave you a sandwich, and it was 98% poop, and 2% ham... Would you be willing to call that a ham sandwich? And I refuse to call getting shut out six times in 24 games a ham sandwich. But don't take my word for it, let's go to the internet. This one comes from a guy named Bull, that's kind of cool. Seriously, as a lifelong Leafs fan, when is it acceptable for me to start getting angry about the Leafs? Well, Bull, it's quite simple. Are you angry? Okay, then now. This next one comes from Connor on Facebook. Good team we got. What are you talking about, Connor? They lost 5 nothing. Oh, I see what you did there. So this is what Rock Bottom feels like from Blue and White 81 on Twitter. This one's from Jeremy SSBM on LeafSpace.com. His blog is titled Fire Wilson, comma, Fire Wilson. Well, I wonder what this one's about, because I feel like I've read it a thousand times. I mean, you gotta win the fans over and, uh, you know, the skid we've been on here a little bit. I mean, it's just... Yeah, I just don't blame him at all. That was from Clark MacArthur, discussing why he thinks the players should be taking the heat and not Ron Wilson, but also how he understands why the fans are really mad. Full interviews up on MapleLeafs.com, he gives some pretty honest answers. You know, I said last video that this was the Leafs' most important game of the season, and it's one thing to put in a really good effort and come up short, which you could actually make the argument that the Leafs looked like the better team for big chunks of the game, but that don't win the games. One thing I don't want to see Leaf fans saying is, oh, and it was to the Oilers too. They beat Ottawa, they came from behind to beat Montreal, and they stomped the Leafs. Maybe give them some credit. So what do you do? You can't dismantle and rebuild the team again. When Burke became GM, it's like he stuck a bunch of sticks of dynamite in the dressing room, unraveled the coil, and like a Bugs Bunny cartoon, just went <laughs> Team's got a bunch of guys that should be playing better and they aren't. Guys that have played better and they aren't. And it's really, really frustrating. So you guys in every blog, comment, and tweet I've read have been screaming for change with a 5 nothing loss to Edmonton. Do you think that this is the game where something, I don't know what, happens? Let me know. Text or video response and, uh, yeah. Okay, if I can intervene for just one second, this is getting really depressing. What could you possibly say or do to cheer me up? Um, uh, oh! It's almost Christmas! Christmas! Um, I'll cheer up if you never do that again. I can do that! And you know what? Forget it. I'm plugging it again. Ryerson Knight with the Marlies today technically today i'm filming this at 1 30 in the morning that was me pointing towards the time marleys.ca slash ryerson the code is ryerson and for a city that's begging for a winner the marleys can't seem to stop winning lately and they could lose this one but if you look at the standings and how they've been playing lately they probably won't no mark messier guarantees but it's 15 bucks so to end things off i've given you examples from leaf space twitter facebook you guys are mad and whether you're happy or you're mad you know i like talking to you guys give me a comment give me a blog better yet a video response what are your thoughts what are you feeling right now my feeling i think something's gonna give man it's a season of giving i'm sorry i had to